Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and today we're gonna take a look at Isotope Ozone 9. So yeah, this video is sponsored by Isotope and they gave me their new Ozone 9 plugin, which is probably the best mastering slash mixing plugin out there. I mean, they just keep advancing the technology and making it easier to do mastering and this time I have some new exciting features to show you, so let's check it out. So yeah, let's just take a look at the plugin first and then I'm gonna show you some examples and master and mix some songs of mine. But basically this is it. You can add new modules here and we got some standard things like EQ, Imager to like play with the stereo of your tracks. But there are also some things that you probably haven't seen in any other plugins and we're gonna take a look at those. So let me load up a track in here and let's actually work with it. So I'm gonna take a track from my previous video where I did the Post Malone vocal tutorial and you can just load up the WAV file. You can also use this as a mixing plugin for like specific sounds, but you can just use it to master the whole finished track. As you can see here, you can also use each like module, the element by itself if you want to, so it won't take up as much CPU and you can just use the specific thing you are looking for. But right now I'm okay with using the whole plugin. Let's just uh, bypass it. Here's the track I'm working with. It's uh, of course the one where I sing, which I'm not a great singer, so don't be surprised, but it was just kind of for fun. So here it is. Try to upload daily, but then I got lazy. Get what was coming, a channel that's dying. So yeah, that's the track. It's already like mastered and mixed a little bit, so there is not too much to do. But I want to show you one really cool feature here that I'm loving, which is the master rebalance, which lets you adjust a specific thing in the song. And this is great, especially for like mastering the whole wave file because you don't have access to the specific tracks, but uh, this actually lets you kind of edit the specific track, even though it's in this one wave file with everything in it. I thought the vocals were a little bit too loud. If I get less, I'm gonna be flying. So what we can do, let me just put it behind the maximizer because that should be at the end. But what we can do with master rebalance, select a specific instrument or vocal, as you can see, in the track and lower it or make it louder. So I felt the vocals were a bit too loud. So I select the vocals and I just lower them. Like we can go extreme so we can hear the difference. Or the other way but I can just do like minus 2.2. And as you can see, it doesn't really affect the rest of the song. It just affects the vocals. They have some sort of a smart technology that can determine which of the frequencies or whatever are the vocals. So it only affects the vocals. Like we could do this for the bass as well. Like just get rid of the bass. Or the drums. Now you can barely hear the drums. So yeah, that's a really cool feature, especially if you have a track already like mixed, but then you realize you might want to adjust something, you can just do it here, really simple. So that's a great feature to do like last minute adjustments to your track. Anyways, another feature they have is the low end focus. So you can use the low end focus to make your kicks or snares punchier or make the bass more obvious. So you have two options, punchy or smooth. Punchy basically increases the power of the transients that means like the hit of the kick or hit of the snare and the smooth option does the opposite 
it increases the power of the release or sustain. So basically whatever is after the kick hits, that's what's gonna get more power. So let's preview it. Let's try the punchiness first. So as you can hear, I kind of overdid it there just to show you how much it affects it. And you can also solo it and listen to what it's actually adding to it. So you can hear that thump that hit in the kick being more obvious. And we probably don't want it in this specific track, but I just wanted to show you how it works. But in this track, the kick is pretty big already. So but we can try the smooth option. So this one is for the bass, if you want to make it more obvious or less obvious. In this case, it's better to go lower because the bass in this song is already really powerful. So if we, so if we add to it, it will be way too loud. We don't want that. So let's lower it. So yeah, we can do that if we want the bass to be less obvious in the mix. So that's another interesting feature. It kind of adds to the master rebalance and this lets you focus more on the low end, hence the name. Okay, so let's take a look at another track and I'm gonna show you one of the best features this uh, plugin has. So here's another track I'm working on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish this as a video, but basically it's the remake of Highest in the Room. And it's not really mixed or mastered, so it will be cool to show you this feature. So let's hear it without any mastering or any specific mixing. She fill my mind out with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. She saw my eyes, she know I'm gone. I see some things that you might fear. Okay, so that's the song. Don't judge the vocal. I was just trying it out and stuff. It's not really finished, but we can do some mastering already. And by the way, you can get this plugin, link will be below in the description. And there's a free trial version. If you wanna try it out, maybe even get to master some of your tracks right now. So check out the link below. And that brings me to the most advanced feature, I guess, which is Master Assistant. Pretty much does the mastering for you. So I know a lot of people don't really know how to do mastering properly and maybe some people prefer to send their songs to a mastering service so they do it for them but i think this is even better and you get to adjust it for yourself but basically you click the master assistant and you choose what type of mastering you are going for so i think i want to use the vintage modules which are just like more old school and I feel like that's gonna go well for this type of track. Then you got the intensity. So that's pretty much like how much you want this mastering to affect your track. So I'm gonna go with medium. And you can also choose a reference track. So if you load up a wave file, let's say, of another track that you know, it can actually analyze that track and adjust the EQ and loudness in this track based on that track. So that's pretty crazy that it can actually do all those things. But in this case, let's just go with manual and medium intensity. Anyway, so we have it adjusted like this. So let's click next. And now we just play the track and it should do the mastering by itself based on what it feels like is the best option. So yeah, you need to play the track. That way it analyzes it. Makes sense. So let's play it. She filled my mind out with ideas. And there we have it. So let's hear the difference. So this is without the mastering. This 
this is with it. She feel my mind out with her DS. I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. She saw my eyes, she know I'm gone. I see some things that you might fear. And just like that, the master assistant pretty much did the mastering for you. So yeah, that is really cool. You can then adjust it as you please, but this is a great starting point. So yeah, this plugin is definitely a must for anyone who is interested in mastering and mixing. And as I said before, you can get the free trial. Link will be below in the description. Check it out and try to master some of your tracks right now. And yeah, there is a lot more features to explore. This is a really advanced plugin, so, so it will take a while to learn the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you some of the cool features and show you that it can be used in a really easy way as well. So yeah, check it out, link below. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. She my mind out with ideas. I'm the highest in the room.